event and action so on any control or a button you can select the events or actions for example i want to open this map control section i can go to the as you can see i am as i am changing this you can see which one is highlighted so this is this section this is this section this section this section like that there is even activity page so for for now i want to edit the select service provider section say on this button that is on this field i want to add some actions so i can go to create an action so for example if i want to add actions on this map control i can select add action sets create an action set i can add an event there are different types of events click double click on click on change so these are mouse related events these are keyboard related events these are on change and on focus or other events say i want to perform some action when this whenever this event has occurred so whenever user clicks with a mouse so click is the event we need to perform some action maybe i need to refresh or post value set value run data transform to call the data transform here in this way we can add an action for an event we can add multiple actions so you can add one more action short smart tip you can add one more action set value so for a single event you can add multiple actions also you can add multiple action sets also you can add multiple events on focus also you do this on click also you do the same things you can add multiple action sets maybe on right click you can do some other actions this is called event and action set so event is the one which user does maybe some keyboard events or mouse events or other events like change and focus hover event is not applicable for a mobile device so for actions or whatever action you want to perform when this event has up occurred when this user event has occurred what action you want to perform there are multiple actions you can perform you can click on all actions you can see now these all come under display category process work add new work cancel finish assignment is what is the internally on submit button finish assignment will be called so if you want to go go to the next step in the flow then you can click you can select finish assignment likewise if you want to launch a modal dialog or local action then you can select from this launch category if you want to get next work or open assignment or open a work item then you can use under next get work category these are generally in a table or repeating grid these are used add child add item delete item edit item open local action you can use this list category other means you can log off run script run data transform run activity you can open a rule these all are the other categories so whatever you want you can apply say if i select apply conditions so i can add some conditions so these are, so each action creates a separate http request so you should be mindful while creating multiple action sets for example on a click event if i want to run two activities or say two data transforms instead of adding run data transform run data transform two times what you do is you create a wrapper data transform in that data transform you invoke the second data transform in that way you can decrease the number of http requests to the server this is the best practice you need to follow so these are the click double click enter so these are the different events so actions are you can open a new window allow editing contents of the row for a repeating grid display menu update list of office location these are the different actions what are action you want you can take so if you see here this is like action set on change say there is a checkbox in the ui whenever user selects a checkbox then billing address and shipping should be same as the shipping address initially 
he will enter the shipping address in the UI. If we select billing address same as shipping address, then each property in the billing address page should be populated with values from the properties in the shipping address page. Also, you can keep conditions like whenever the checkbox is selected, the checkbox property is copy address. If whenever the selected means true. Whenever the checkbox is selected, whenever copy address is true, then only you can copy this. If that is unselected, then don't copy this. 